I'm from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan in Canada. Grew up on a big farm, you know, working in the fields with the tractor, tilling up the fields, driving combines. Lots of stuff we had to get done before we could go and play. I had an older brother that always had dirt bikes, you know, just going to the races with him and, and the family and, uh, you know, just something I really wanted to do. I took it seriously right from the beginning. Actually, my first race, I ended up getting second, and uh, I remember trying because I wanted first so bad. I started racing local races here, doing well. Started a little, doing a little more national events. I just wanted to just make it in motocross, and I'd do anything to, to make it. Morgan takes the checkered flag in the overall here in Regina. In the wintertime up here in Canada, there's no riding dirt bikes, so I used to cross train riding a snowmobile on the motocross track. Just totally annihilating like the rear suspension and the shocks were getting blown up and broken and people were really like blown away that something like that could break because they'd never seen it before. My role with Articat was finding talent, get them on an Articat and help them win. With Blair, one of my racers went out to a race in Saskatoon and saw him race out there and told me that he rides really different, stands up a lot, and he was breaking things that other riders didn't break, and I found that interesting. I went to Alberta, made arrangements to meet him at the race, and he just did things that I'd never seen anyone else do on a snowmobile. He would just be blisteringly fast, and then there'd be a point of chaos. You know, he only got a third in one race and didn't qualify, so it wasn't his results that made me say, hey, I gotta do something with this guy. It was what I saw when he was on the track. I didn't know that he was gonna be killing it instantly, but I knew that, you know, with my help, he, he would be successful. I remember meeting him and talking about the snow cross racing and that, but I don't think I was very interested at the time. My main focus at that point was I wanted to be a motocross guy. It wasn't until he invited me to come down to a race in West Yellowstone, Montana, where it kind of, everything changed. He actually wanted me to ride the, not the pro class, he wanted me to ride like a one class below pro. And I was like, I think I'm a lot better than those guys. I think I could race pro. I think I can be in the pro class. We heard about this guy who had shown up who uh, no one knew. He rode differently, he looked different. Stood out the most for me was everybody was sitting down on the roughest, roughest tracks. And I, I guess with the motocross background, was standing up. I think the first race out of was like a qualifier, I think I whole shot it and won the heat race. And I think I like stuffed like one of like the top guys in like the last corner, kind of like stuffed him all the way and then went for the win. For the final, I ended up leading the race. Two laps to go and like the number one guy, Kirk Hibbert, he passed me. So I just followed him. I thought, like, okay, second, second's good enough. You know, he definitely caught everybody's attention, but I don't think anybody seemed probably just off that first race to threatened, you know, till the next year. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here you are, the champion for Canadian National Motocross, Blair Morgan. That summer, I, I won the Canadian Motocross Championship. So what better way to prepare yourself for the next snowcross year than the, you know, be on top of like a motocross game. So going into that 97 season, I was more than prepared. The rookie, Blair Morgan, grabs a huge lead. That first year, I think I won like, probably like over half the races and not more. The checkers out, Blair Morgan takes victory number two on the day. He's winning everything and he's doing it in this way that really attracts people to him. The fans all love him, the younger racers, they wanted to be like him. Ducking to the inside is Blair Morgan, he's gonna take the checker flag. Blair just had a different mentality. I mean, he wanted to crush people. If you got into a bad spot on the racetrack and Blair Morgan was underneath you, you knew you were going up and over. I couldn't say this in front of my mom or anything like that, but I was ready to die for a win. Like, I would just put it all on the line. He became such a fan favorite. I mean, he gets this nickname, Superman, because he's out there doing tricks on the snowmobile, and no one had ever seen that. He brought this showmanship and this entertainment value to Snowcross that no one had even thought of. I wanted not just to win races, I just wanted to win all the races and the championships by a mile. We call this the Winter X Games, guys, but I gotta tell you, it's time to go to war. If you're gonna win one event in a year, 
that's the event you want to win. So he takes second in 99 to his arch rival, a guy named Chris Vincent. Caught up like on the finish line. He ended up doing a trick and he crashed. And then... You didn't get the start you needed. No, I think I was about sixth or fifth. Caught up to a little bit at the end and uh, it's round time. Comes back in 2000, again as the heavy favorite. And there's this 15-year-old upstart, this kid, Tucker Hibbert. He comes out and he wins X Games. Tucker at 15 has taken the gold medal. Second place goes to Blair Morgan. I should have won that one. I should have won every X Games that I entered, actually. In 01, he wins. In 02, he dominates. Wins again in 03. Back then, at X Games, you didn't see that kind of domination. In 05, he and Tucker Hibbert have this great race where Blair keeps him just behind him the entire race. Me and Tucker are really similar. The desire to win and kind of like the natural talent, I guess. That was somebody that I could trust to, you know, race that closely with. Hibbert is not only staying with Morgan, he is racing him very hard right now. I think Blair and I elevated each other's game. To be your absolute best, you have to be challenged and you have to be pushed. Very fun to watch him and Tucker race some of the ride out best racing we've ever seen, I think, in the sport. Morgan takes his fourth gold medal. I truly believe that the best, most fun years for me was racing against Blair. Maintaining that level of being like the top guy for so long and so many years was pretty draining, mentally, I think, mostly. In 2008, I was actually retiring from snowcross. I think maybe I was kind of sick of the risk of, you know, getting hurt and having young kids, seeing that this racing is not the most important thing anymore. Funny thing about 2008 is I wasn't gonna go to the Montreal Supercross, but I was riding so well at the time, I was really confident and I ended up going and, uh, Everything was really good. I was riding really well and just like really stupid little mistake. I just remember trying to get up and I couldn't get up. I was sitting at the breakfast table with Tucker Hibbert's parents, Kirk and Teresa, and uh, I got a text from Blair's mechanic just said, you know, how's Blair? I gave him kind of a smart aleck response, you know, what if the dummy fall off his bike and, you know, break an arm or something? And he replied, uh, sorry to tell you, he broke his back. Yeah. And, um, I remember just putting my head down, and passing my phone over to Kurt. You know, I. Yeah, it was just a tough morning. I remember coming in for supper, and everybody was pretty somber. They said that Blair got hurt, and of course, being hurt before, he'd bounce back, but then they found out that he had been paralyzed, so. I guess it was devastating to see her. See your little brother be like that. I severed my spinal cord right through and it's complete, so no feeling, no motor movement. My biggest thing was just to get out of this hospital and back home to my kids. I've been racing for 20 years. I never got to like stay home and spend time with the family. So that's something that I wanted to do. It would have been nice to be able to walk away from the sport and you know, not be injured in a wheelchair, but just that whole weight off the shoulders was kind of a bit of a, a relief, actually. Everybody wanted to reach out to him and try and help, but there really isn't a whole lot you can do. You know, moral support, um, and he seemed to be close to that. You know. My kids were kind of really busy with school activities and like sports and stuff like that and I tell a lot of people like I, I actually felt that I was busier in those years to go back to races and, and wasn't important at the time. It sure takes a long time to heal for something this big. 
mentally and physically. You know, I kind of thought like I, I would take a few years just to kind of get used to just the way everything is now. Honestly, it took like probably seven years. So when Blair started coming back to X Games, he was working as a consultant for Skidoo. He was helping advise their younger snowcross racers. Because obviously, I mean, you can learn a lot from Blair. You know, if the best who's ever done it tells you what you should be doing differently, you're gonna wanna listen to that. It's been extremely enjoyable for me the last couple years to see him back in the racing scene and starting the, the next era of Blair Martin. He may not have realized how much the fans loved him and how much they missed him. He for sure would have realized it when he started going to the races again. Well, I see that kind of now with people just wanting to see me and see that I'm okay. And I think as you get older, you, you appreciate things more, try to cherish it a bit. The, with the snow bike, it was a different thing because I always wanted to get back on a motorcycle after my accident. I'm actually really excited for the X Games this year. It kind of feels like the old days, kind of, you know, like I have a purpose. When I think of Blair Morgan, really the, the word that comes to mind is revolutionary. He wasn't just a great racer. I mean, he changed snowmobile racing. He's the guy that just appeared. Nobody saw him coming, and he just left wreckage behind him. I don't think anyone in the past or in the future can affect the industry as a whole the way Blair did. Blair Morgan and Superman. I'll just say Blair Morgan's my friend and hero for coming back and giving her another shot. <laughs>